Hello everyone, this is Mega Blade J, and today is a very awesome day. That's because the new 2023 demo of Scratching Melody has been released. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that the demo was supposed to come out a few months ago, but due to uh, personal reasons, the developer had to postpone the release. Well, it's out now, and it is awesome. So, today, I just want to give my opinion, uh, talk about the changes from the previous demo to this one, and yeah, have a little fun today. Alrighty, here we go. Starting off, let's talk about one of the biggest changes that happened. The visuals. So, of course, with every update, the character models do get upgrades, but this time around, they actually went and changed how the world map looks. Before, it was basically a 2D, top-down, uh, typical RPG uh, world map. But now, everything's in this 3D, like, diorama-type deal. And I will admit, at first, I wasn't really digging it, but after looking at it a lot, you know, going through my videos, editing things, I am actually very happy with how this looks now. It's very clean, uh, very to the point, and they actually did remove a lot of the extra space in the town. Unfortunately, they did remove a few of the cool characters you talk to, but it does make the demo move a lot faster, which honestly is not a bad thing. Although we did seem to lose a few other things as well. Um, it looks like the badge system that they had in the last demo is nowhere to be found here. For those who don't remember, uh, basically Melody had a little scrapbook where they could put uh, these little badges or stickers in there. And there was only one in the last demo. But it gave you an extra hit, an extra chance to mess up notes without getting uh, your score down. Which was nice, since I'm not... Well, I'm getting a little older, and my hand-eye coordination and reaction time is uh, kind of going down a bit. But, uh, yeah, that's no longer in the game. And they also had these pretty neat little treasure chest-type dealios, where... You basically had to play a little game of Simon Says, uh, and if you completed it, it would open up and you get the treasure, which in that case was a sticker, which is probably why it's missing in this one too. But uh, just would have been kind of neat to have those around to get a little extra stuff. But once again, you know, this, I think this, if I'm correct, I believe this is the developer's first game, and honestly, one thing that does tend to mess up a lot of indie developers on their very first project is that of, I believe it's called feature creep, where you know people just keep adding new and more and more features to a game, which in, in the long run would make the game more awesome, but seeing as how these are indie developers I'm pretty sure there's like a really small team or it might just be this one, this one person making the game by themselves in that case it actually would be better would actually be a lot better to cut all the extra stuff and just focus on making the best music rhythm game that they can you know they have any like extra ideas i mean like like you you make a plan and you basically stick to that plan cuz otherwise you're going to be just continually adding more and more stuff and the more stuff you add to the game the more complicated it gets and the more complicated it gets the more chance there are of things breaking and not working right and you waste more time trying to fix the extra stuff so for being a indie developer, it's their first game. If, if it is their first game, it would definitely be better to just 
focus on just making the game as clean and lean as possible, which this update does seem to do, as once again, they moved a lot of stuff and it does seem to go a heck of a lot faster. Some other changes include a few characters getting some visual upgrades. Uh, Melody's mother, for instance, has a new redesign. It's a bit different. I was personally fond of her previous design, but I'm sure I'll, I'll get used to this one as well. Um, and then, of course, the newest additions would definitely be the uh, the two new songs. Uh, I guess I guess three new songs, uh, as well as some of the older songs getting some upgrades as well. As shown in one of my previous videos, the fight with the sweet siblings has been updated, and I gotta say, I do like it a lot better than the first one. It is definitely a major upgrade, better visuals, better animation, music is way better. Uh, this also included a new fight, uh, the tennis battle, which is, I, I think is actually based off of a Sega sports game because i know when you lose to I believe it's cinebe she does like a special star attack thing which i believe i did see that in a sega game one time i think it was tennis i believe but yeah that's fun and then the new poyo poyo style uh battle as well that one was really cool awesome new character love her design the music is catchy as hell uh the little intro thing reminds me a lot of uh Earth, Wind, and Fire, which I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for. Now, it does kind of suck that we don't get to see what their story uh, involvement is, but it is cool just to have these two uh, new songs in here in general, so I am very appreciative. Besides the Sweet Siblings battle, I believe the Nami fight also got some visual enhancements and some new animations. I I don't think Jamteen and the clown guy got any upgrades to the actual songs or fights themselves. I have to go back and relook. But I believe it's just Nami. But overall, amazing upgrades. I'm loving the game so far. Now, with that being said, there are a few dialogue changes I'm not too fond of. Uh, first off, where is my Bark Bark the Economy? Pretty sure that's used in a lot of memes nowadays, so I do miss that line. Also, I really wish they had kept the line where you first meet the sweet siblings and they're gonna try and stop Melody from completing their uh, community service and Melody thinks they're gonna be beat them up. I, I, I love that line, it, it was great and I just flow directly into the whole versus screen thing but i, I don't know it, it's your it's it's their game they only change it they can i just personally i really did like that line it was funny as hell to me but uh yeah overall i have really enjoyed this demo there were a lot of changes and jam teen's voice did catch me off guard a bit but Overall, it was a really good demo. The only sad thing is now we're going to wait like probably years before the full game comes out. Because I'm not sure if the developer has put out like a roadmap for this, but looking at the uh, quick groove section, they do have a few um, tabs you can switch between. And if each one of those tabs is going to have like three to four uh, character encounters and a boss, it's probably going to take the developer a long time to finish this game. Which, honestly, take your time, but it'd be really awesome if they could like do like a Kickstarter or Patreon or something. A Kickstarter would be pretty awesome. You know, over the last few years, this game has developed a very big fan base there's like crossovers with other music games now we there's one really awesome video i saw with like uh, uh that what was it that friday night funking and Prappa the rapper it's pretty awesome you can go, go look it up um i'm pretty sure if they do a kickstarter 
they'll be able to get a decent amount of uh, revenue and probably be able to hire someone to help them, help them make the game. Hopefully they, they can do that and, you know, you can go a little faster. But it's their game. Take their time. I am looking forward to this. I want to see, I want to see this game get completed. I really do. So, uh, yeah. So good job, developer. Keep going. And uh, I'll keep my eyes on this game. So, yeah. What do you all think? Uh, did you enjoy the demo? Was there anything you missed? Do you like the changes in the voices or the characters? Uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.